Hello, Kevin Lang, Combine Product Specialist with Lang Diesel. Actual yield calibration window. So up top you have a yield factor that can be adjusted if you, if you feel like your yield calibration just needs a bump one way or the other. You can also fine tune your test weight to get a little bit closer. Uh, but down below that is where you really do your, your true yield calibration. Um, <clears throat> so the first thing you'd go to is your zero point calibration. Um, basically the yield uh, sensor is a paddle at the top of the clean grain elevator and it senses vibrations to read yield. So what you do is you kick in your separator and your header, run it to full RPM and raise your header all the way up. When you've got that going, you hit the update button and it basically zeroes out the calibration, the base vibrations of the machine so that any vibration above that from grain hitting it will read as yield. So you want to make sure you do that first. Um, also, if you're ever going through the field and you get an error saying you uh, need to update your zero point calibration, that would be where you do that. Up above that is your window for your yield calibration. So right now it shows a start button. So we're starting harvest the first field we get into. We'd come in before before we get any grain in the bin, we just hit start. Uh, we want to reset measured grain to zero. And so we're going to go harvest. And we're going to harvest typically probably a full truck if you have just one machine in the field so that you run that counter for that full truck, you haul that truck to the elevator, get the actual weight, and you can plug it back into the system. Um, if you have a grain cart with scales, you could do it one, one bin load at a time, but typically the longer you can do it, the better. So let's say we dumped a few bins into a truck and we just got done with uh, filling that truck up. We'd come in here and hit stop. And then <clears throat> if we were actually harvesting in the field, it would have a box where we could enter in the actual measured weight. So once that truck gets back from the elevator, you go ahead and key in that scale ticket and it's going to automatically set your calibration for you. Um, now if you've never done this before, you'd maybe want to do it two times in a row to make sure you get a really accurate calibration. The next icon would be your moisture settings, moisture sensor. Um, so the first one's that moisture calibration. Um, if you were reading on your monitor that you're 14 moisture, but the scale tickets are saying 13, you just simply come in here and type in a negative one to offset your moisture uh, sensor to, to match up. Um, you also have your moisture alarm percentage as well as um, enabling that alarm. I uh, hope this was helpful and uh, good luck in your harvest.